Hey everybody, Steve from Flight Brothers, and today we are going to take our first look at this Diatone Crusader 190 frame kit. I'm going to take a look at all the parts that are included, see what it looks like, and a rough idea of how it goes together. So let's get started by opening this up. While I'm doing that, I just want to thank Diatone for sending us this great frame to check out. I was pretty excited with the Tyrant, and it's been a great frame so far, so I have a pretty good deal of confidence in this frame and some of the great features that it comes with. So let's see what we have here. Just taking out this bag. Here is a installation directions uh, booklet. Interesting. So that's kind of cool. Some nice pictures and actually... Uh, Install the glass fiber insulation board. Must install the insulation board. This is a, you know, I've said it before, decent English. I'm impressed. Great pictures. A great uh, little instruction book on how this goes together. Could potentially come in handy. We'll find out. I usually don't need those though. Uh, here we have our motor protector feet that will go on uh, with these screws here that go and protect the motors. I'm excited to see these in black. I honestly can't stand all the different colors they always send the other ones. So it's nice to have black so it'll be all uniform and not be too colorful and sticking out. Although I probably, just like on my Tyrant build, won't be using these. i just not a huge fan. That's just added weight and not really necessary for me. Alright. Here we have the PDB interested. Let's pop this out and take a look at it. Okay, so here's the included PDB that will get mounted on the frame and of course includes all of your uh, ESC hookups, your battery lead hookups, one ESC on each corner. They've also included a capacitor on each corner. It looks like I don't know if you can uh, read the specs on that. I assume those are uh, each to help deal with voltage spikes. I don't know how well protected those are once the frame is built. It looks like something that could easily uh, get knocked off, so we'll see how those hold up. But uh, not a bad feature as long as they stay intact. Already has a buzzer installed, which is kind of nice. I'm going to leave that sticker on there to make sure I don't... Uh, damage anything and you can see you have a 5 volt 12 volt switching BEC built in and you even have those 12 volts 5 volt ground on either side which is nice for the outputs to your different accessories that you're going to use has a VBAT connector has a 12 volt battery and ground extra connector here which I believe is going to go into this other new exciting piece of equipment. This is the stackable VTX that they gave me to check out too. So I think that plug right there will be used for this little unit here, which is pretty nice to power it. And then we also have some audio video ground uh, in and outs on this end. We have the ESC uh, ground 5 volt and strangely enough 1 through 6 um, connector here which is pretty cool and a buzzer so full featured PDB with all the things that you need including the two BECs and the connectors for all the different things that you're using oh so there's the VTX and camera oh that's interesting so I'm wondering what this one is for well I could go back and look at those great pictures that they sent me but let's move on uh, the carbon fiber arms take a peek at what these look. All nicely packaged, separated, uh, not vacuum packed like some of the Tyrant was. So this is interesting. So these are definitely uh, four millimeter arms. If this carbon is the same quality of the Tyrant, then I would uh, expect to be very pleased with it. The Tyrant has been extremely durable so far. No complaints in that department. So these are pretty neat shape. I'm a little unsure of the point of this big cutout. It usually just creates a weak spot, but we'll see how that turns out when we uh, fly it and inevitably crash it, of course. 
uh, all the holes needed for mounting, but this is kind of neat. I'm not sure how this goes together yet. I'm sure I'll get a good look at it, but this is the part that's actually milled out here, uh, recessed a little bit for how that goes together. I'm not sure how that all lines up, but it looks kind of cool. Um, not exactly sure what we have here. Some sort of connectors. There's some LEDs right here included. I'll have to look at the included directions to see how that all fits together. And I'm not sure what these plugs do or how that works. Oh, you know what? I bet there's a connector that goes from here, this one that I wasn't sure what it was, into this one that I wasn't sure what it was, and then this perhaps powers your LEDs or something like that. I don't know. We'll find out. Moving on have our middle plates uh, and our camera plates again same uh, as I what I expect to be uh, carbon fiber that looks like a sheet of G10 okay I see what this is going to be this here I expect is probably the uh, insulator plate so important this is the insulator plate for the uh, PDB if you do not include this insta insulator plate when you install the PDB, you will likely provide power to your frame and that's going to cause some serious issues uh, along with smoking your BTX. You could see some other bad things happen. So this is the included insulator plate. want to make sure that is definitely installed when you install this uh, PDB onto the frame. We have our bottom plate. Still not sure how this is going to go together, but we'll see eventually. And these will be our uh, camera mounting plates. So it looks like these are one and a half or two millimeter. This bottom plate is definitely two millimeter. I think these are one and a half millimeter for these camera mounting plates. Moving on, included is a camera mount. This is the standard diatone plastic camera mount uh, that comes in a lot, but this is the one that that. Uh, that does a full-size camera mount if you're going to use a full-size camera. I am hoping that the included camera mount will allow me to uh, simply mount a HS1177 or this Foxier Arrow that I have into there without too much modification or changes uh, and hopefully without using this because honestly I'm not a huge fan of these these uh, camera mounts. But it's there, it's included, which is nice. If you're going to use it, uh, you've got it, so that's nice. Moving on, we have some uh, our different spacers and lawn screws and bolts for how uh, the different things I assume get stacked or put together. I'm not exactly sure how yet, but I'll again go back and check out those great directions. And uh, the included package of a couple of battery straps. Always nice to have those thrown in because you know how quickly we can go through those, so it's always nice to have extra laying around. And all of your connecting cables, a whole bunch of different connecting cables that should make wiring this up and uh, getting it ready very quick, convenient, and easy. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting this in flight. I want to also point out that all the necessary hardware comes with it and I'm actually kind of excited to see oh there's the extra longer standoffs and different things I'm excited to see this nice blue uh, aluminum it looks like aluminum hardware so it's gonna save some weight but it's also you know it's nice it's it looks nice it's gonna add that nice little colorful touch to it without being too over the top so I'm gonna go ahead and start looking into how this frame goes together and see what I can uh, come up with and let's see what how that looks when it's getting Put together. So here I've started the build a little bit and so far it's actually fairly easy and I can see how it's going to go together from here which is pretty neat. Uh, a couple things I'm a little concerned about right off the bat. Not a huge deal but um, the battery strap. The battery strap is actually built in to the build so if this battery strap breaks you're going to have to take the whole thing apart to put a new battery strap in which is going to be a little bit frustrating and tedious and 
So I'm a little worried about that. I guess I'm just going to have to hope that this battery strap holds up really well, or else we'll have to find a different way to uh, strap that battery in there eventually. I'm not sure how I'll do that, but we'll see what happens and how long that lasts. The um, the milled out part of the arm was actually to make provision for that battery strap to be in between those plates there. So remember when I showed you those milled out parts of the arm, they're actually uh, milled out just so that the battery strap can be sitting between those two plates and not cause any issue there. So uh, the way the instructions, and those those instructions are excellent, they really are, um, but the way the instructions have you put them together is kind of backwards. Um, the way uh, I'm going to show in the build video is to actually go ahead and put the bottom plate and the strap and the arms on with these four screws first and start there. The uh, the instructions have you using these big lawn M3 screws, which wind up being the mounting screws for the flight controller and the uh, VTX and all that stuff. Uh, but honestly, I think if you just uh, start with these four screws, they'll be mostly out of the way. You can get what wiring done you need onto the arms with the ESCs and the motors and all that. And once that's all done and ready, then you can go ahead and move on to your mounting of the flight controller and all that stuff. So that's how I'm starting it. So uh, this is the uh, beginnings of the build. So what's going to happen is these lawn screws, like I just said, will go in the these four holes here. One, two, three, four. And the flight controller, the stackable VTX, if you use that, will go on there. And then the little uh, camera pod, which will be built uh, using these two pieces of carbon fiber and some other little pieces and screws, uh, will s uh, basically essentially attach on top of that and you'll have yourself a nice little frame there. So that's uh, where I'm going to leave it for this review. I got to say, it seems even with just those four screws in, it's extremely solid. It's uh, I have little concern that this will be a solid and very durable build once it's all put together. So I'm going to get working on that now.